Hare Krishna. When the Supreme Soul is glorified, the small soul is purified. There is a dynamic relationship of love and reciprocation between us and our eternal Lord, Krishna. All of us, when we enter into any relationship, we seek some kind of reciprocation. We do something for someone and we get something back from them. They do something for us. When we start practicing Bhakti Yoga and especially when we start practicing pure Bhakti Yoga, pure devotion to Krishna, at that time we may wonder, what do we get? Normally people go to God so that they can get something from God. In the seventh chapter of the Bhagavad Gita, 16th verse, Krishna says that most of the people who come to him come either because they are in distress and they want some relief or they need some money. Chaturvidha bhajante maam jana sukrutna arjuna arto jigyasur artharthi jnani cha bharata arshabha and Krishna says all these four categories of people are good. They are pious, they are sukrutinaha. And yet it takes a long time of spiritual evolution for them to come to the level of pure devotion. And when they come to that level of pure devotion, they're completely absorbed in Krishna. They're delighting in Krishna's glories. Bahunam Janmana Mante Gyanavan Mam Prapadyate. Vasudeva Sarvamiti Samahatma Sudurlabhaha And after many lifetimes of spiritual evolution, they come to the level of understanding that Krishna is the only Lord of their hearts. Krishna is the embodiment and fulfillment of everything attractive that their heart longs for. And then what happens? They become devoted to Him. How is this devotion expressed? That Krishna talks later in the 10th chapter in the Chatushloki Bhagavad Gita. In 10.9, he says that for those who are devoted to him, Machitta Madgata Pranaha Bodhayanta Parasparam Kathayanta Shyamam Nityam Tushyanti Charamanti Cha. He says, they're internally devoted to Krishna, their lives are dedicated to Krishna's service, and they delight in discussing Krishna in glorifying Krishna themselves and in hearing others glorify Krishna. And when such glorification happens, what is the result? They become purified. Krishna himself purifies them of whatever contaminations might be there in their hearts. Tesham satata yuktanam bhajatam priti purvakam tadami buddhi yogam tam yena mamupayantite Krishna says, I will remove whatever impurity, whatever is the inner force that is causing confusion and I will give them the illumination by which they can come to me. So how does glorification of Krishna lead to purification? Actually, when we glorify Krishna, in the act of glorification, we are contacting Him and He is all pure. And just that contact with Him purifies us. And because we are contacting Him with the intention of glorifying Him, then His glories become revealed more and more in our hearts. And we start feeling more and more attracted to Him. And the essence of purification is not just the removal of lust, anger, greed, or any of the contaminating forces in our hearts. The essence of purification is the activation of our attraction for Krishna. So there's a laborious way to purify ourselves when we consistently say no to the impure forces within us. But a far more joyful way to purify ourselves is to simply focus on Krishna, to glorify Him and by that glorification of the all pure supreme, all impurities within us will get cleansed away. Thank you. Hare Krishna.